Okay, so video showing uh, the different plants that I've managed to find today. So I've got plantain here, which has got the ridges on the back. Very common, naturally rich in fibre, very good for a tortoise. Um, you also get the broadleaf version as well. You flick the pods at each other at school if you lived in the UK. Um, bristly ox tongue. We've got soft thistle here. Young sticky weed. I find if it's old and woody, they're not so keen. Um, but if you get young shoots and mix it in, that you can often persuade them to start eating it if they're hungry. Sweetwell. Bitter cress. Smells cressy. <laughs> and it's got this lovely little white flower in spring. Pink nettle. Lots of that around um, in spring in the UK. Obviously your classic dandelion, but obviously you don't just want to feed that because that is a diuretic, so it can dehydrate your tortoise as well. The great thing about having variety for a tortoise is you're getting lots of different vitamins and trace elements in. So the more you can learn, um, the healthier diet you can give your tortoise. And of course it's free. So when you're picking, um, try and pick somewhere where you know hasn't been sprayed with um, pesticides and not too busy a road because you can also get pollution from the road as well. Um, if you show friends and family who are keen gardeners they'll often collect you little bags as well um, which you can then keep in the fridge um, for um, you know and pick a couple of times a week so you don't have to be out every day picking weeds. Um, and I think the final one here is if you look at the shape of the leaf that's nipple wart there and that's a very good one to pick for tortoises as well. So then what I've done is I've mixed it in uh, here with a selection of a little bit of rocket and lettuce because the tortoise I'm going to give this to is used to eating bought produce but I'm slowly getting it used to eating weeds and then I've also put a bit of dietary fibre in and also um, moistened uh, testudo herb cob to add dietary fibre because weeds and salads um, in captivity can even be a little bit too lush and the forager tortoise might actually have in the wild. So I always like to sort of offer a variety so the tortoise isn't too fussy. And it also leaves your options, gives you more options on feeding um, if at times you can't get all the different um, parts of this meal I'm showing you here. The other thing I really recommend doing is adding a good quality multivitamin supplement and calcium. Um, I personally actually do a blend of calcium and a multivitamin and actually lightly dust on daily um, so you don't overdose the vitamin D3 but also plain calcium is more palatable to tortoises and then I actually use a cocoa shaker to actually lightly dust. When a tortoise isn't used to calcium you've got to start really really light and then build it up um, but do persevere you can actually it can take weeks if not months to actually persuade a tortoise to sort of come around to being used to having calcium on their food. Um, so little and often. Um, if you, that you're really struggling, start on the more lusher, hiding it on the more lusher things um, like the bought salad, which they'll eat more readily. Right, okay, I hope this video helps. Um, please follow my YouTube channel and come back with any questions. 